I'm Sophie Robinson and I'm an interior stylist but also a judge on the Great Interior Design Challenge. And one of the most surprising things for me that's come out of the show is people have just been really interested in what I wear and I get tons of comments on Twitter and Instagram about how come I'm so confident with colour and where do I get all my gear from basically. So I thought I'd do this little video to try and kind of sum up what I do. I mean I don't really think about it that much when I get dressed but when I really dig into it and like drill down there are kind of some theories. Um, so I kind of start with my palette and I think everybody should get in touch with the kind of colour palette that they like. For me it's these really kind of bright almost sugary sunshine shades I guess and I kind of really like block colour. I think that's a really good starting point so you'll notice I wear quite a lot of brightly coloured tights. I have collected <laughs> proper medley of them over the years. I get most of um, these really, really bright colours from American Apparel. So they're a really good basic. And then I would either put like a plain block colour with them. I've got quite a few dresses that are just one big solid hue. They work really well with a bright tight. Or put a bit of pattern with it. And I do like using pattern, but I think the key is not to like completely overdo it. So I've got loads of these sort of pencil skirts or um, tops, but I wouldn't put them together. I'd put like a really jazzy skirt with a plain chambray blouse or just a t-shirt or something. So bold color, then like a flash of bright pattern. And then um, I guess you're sort of looking at your accessories then, and I am completely obsessed with shoes. I've got lots of shoes which are in pops of bright color. I mean, these feature really heavily. These are really old now, they're from Whistles but I completely love this kind of like acid canary yellow. And sometimes I'll just wear something really downbeat on top, like maybe just navy, and then completely punk it up by wearing bright yellow shoes. So they're really good fun to have in my wardrobe. Or I have to say I'm really partial to a bit of leopard print. Um, these go with everything. I think leopard print's quite a good neutral. So, you know, I would put these with, with patterned outfits or just something really plain, even just a pair of jeans you know, going back to my jeans and Breton top, but then wax some little leopard print pumps on, suddenly you kind of look a bit more rocking. And then you sort of come onto the jewellery, and that's another thing that gets talked about quite a lot, because I do love a bit of bling, and in quite like a serious, bold way. Really love big earrings. I've got masses of these sorts of things, and I find um, really good shops for this kind of jewellery, like the proper back Pat Butcher numbers is um, J Crew have a really great um, selection and also Anthropology are really good too. Um, and similarly for, you know, big statement rings, there's a really, really nice shop in Brighton called Seren, um, which is a little boutique in the North Lanes and they don't sell online, so I recommend anybody come to Brighton just to visit their shop, it's so brilliant. You know, a lot of my jewellery is just plastic and trashy, but it's big, that's basically what I'm saying. And similarly, you know, the statement necklaces, you know, you just pop this on top of a plain t-shirt and it immediately updates it. Um, oh, this is one of my really good girlfriends, Katie Weiner, who makes this tassel jewellery. You've probably seen quite a lot of this. She's a tassel necklace and she also does these amazing uh, tassel earrings and I've got lots of these in different colours. So again, you can kind of just like pop the colour with the statement jewellery as well. And then finishing touch, people probably noticed the nails. I have the most insane collection of nail varnishes. Um, and I like to do something usually quite unexpected with my nail polish. So I've got blue and teal greens and canary yellow and tangerine orange. And again, sometimes I think even if you're just wearing something quite simple, if you wear a really wacky nail varnish, just kind of adds a bit of fun and a bit of quirkiness. So there you have it, that's how I like to get dressed. It's basically investing in some nice block colour pieces in the colour palette that you like, then add in a little bit of pattern and finish it all off with some statement jewellery and you're ready to go. So for more inspiration on how you can add some pattern and colour to your wardrobe and your home, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and subscribe to this YouTube channel.